Hey, what's up guys? Dr. G here. I'm uh, going to be talking about my Nationals experience with you guys. Now, I got to say, I've never been to a Nationals before. Heck, I haven't even been to an event with more than 300 people, which was a Regionals in Seattle. And going to Nationals was a huge step for me as a Yu-Gi-Oh player and, you know, in general, just going to Chicago. I've only been there like a couple of times. And even when I've been there, I haven't stepped out outside the airport. So to go to Chicago and go to Navy Pier and go through this entire experience was absolutely brand new to me. So I had no idea what I was in for. But let me tell you this, going to Nationals was a great decision. Not because I didn't, you know, because I won or anything like that or because I made uh, a lot of money, which I did make some money, but, you know, that's besides the point. That's not why it was great. It was just to be part of that community, the Yu-Gi-Oh! community, and to enjoy the fact that everybody there came to play, came to trade, came to sell, came to buy, came to whatever, um, all for this all for this game, which, which we all love to play and we all uh, obviously enjoy a lot. And to be part of that was breathtaking for me. I mean, it was a new experience, and I've never been to Nationals before, and honestly, I had a great time. Um, as far as the main event goes, uh, it didn't really go in my favor, unfortunately. I tried my best, I mean, given my limited resources and the limited amount of time I gave myself to prepare for the event, I really didn't expect much, uh, but I, I was kind of hoping I would make it a day two to give myself a chance. Unfortunately, I bubbled on day one and lost in my final round, um, finishing with 13 points. So I went with, uh, there was eight rounds of Swiss that day, so I finished with a record of 4-3-1. Uh, and one. Up until go going into the last round, I was 4-2-1, and one, and I, I needed to win because you needed 16 points to advance to day two. But unfortunately, it, it just wasn't my night. And uh, I ended up losing to a Dark World player in game three where, you know, he, I think he cheated me, but, you know, I don't really care anymore. <laughs> I mean, honestly, the event was just so much fun uh, in general, just to be there, be involved, and watch the feature matches on, on the big screen, um, and just, you know, be in that environment with all this, all this buzz, all this excitement over this game, you know, that I enjoy so much. It was a completely different experience. Uh, but as for my main event deck, I did run Dragon Rulers. Uh, I don't want to do a deck profile, mainly because I don't feel like the deck I ran is worth profiling, uh, as bad as that sounds. Um, it, I just really had no time to play test. Going to Chicago was a really spontaneous decision for me. I did not plan at all. I basically just, you know, hopped on a flight the day before uh, Nationals was supposed to start and just landed there and went to Nationals. I mean, it was, it was really spontaneous. I didn't have all the side deck cards I needed. Um, I didn't main deck the right cards, in my opinion. Obviously, I changed a lot of things uh, since Nationals has ended after, you know, getting insight from some of the pro players and uh, some of the other players that were there. Um, definitely changed my deck a lot um, since then. But, uh, yeah, so I'm not going to do a profile of the deck I played there because, uh, <laughs> honestly, I... It, it was pretty bad, in my opinion. Like Compared to the other Dragon Ruler decks that were, that were being played there, I, I made some pretty bad uh, tech choices. But, you know, all that aside, I was just happy to be there. And I was happy to get this beautiful mat right here. Um, obviously, Mermails used to be my favorite deck. It still is my favorite deck uh, pretty much of all time, besides Lightsorn. It's pretty much tied. Um, but, yeah, to get a mat, uh, you know, featuring Megalo and Lead is, is like the ultimate montage, the ultimate tribute to that deck, uh, which was you know, in its time, like, best. And who knows, maybe uh, after the September 1st ban list, Megalo will shoot right back up and Mermails will be a thing again. But, you know, we got to wait and see what happens to the to the Draco Sacks and the Super Rejuves and everything. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the sleeves also, like, these sleeves are, you know, my first time I ever got these sleeves, and, like, you could just tell they're, they are absolutely beautiful. Um, I wouldn't give these up. Like, I wouldn't... Like, people offered me the money for the mat, money for the sleeves. I'm like, nah, there's no way I'm selling it. I mean, it's my first Nationals. I'm keeping everything. Everything is like, a, you know, memorabilia for, for what happened in Chicago and how much fun I had and everything. And, oh, my God, the, lo the location was ridiculous. Navy Pier is the first place you want to go when you go to Chicago. I mean, besides the pizzeria, because Chicago Deep Dish Pizza is delicious. It, I'm, I'm from New York, so I know what good pizza is. And when I tell you, if you go to Chicago, you need to try the deep dish pizza, you need to try the deep dish pizza. It is great. I mean, it's a completely different experience from New York pizza, but it is great. I had so much trouble trying to finish it because it's so heavy, but uh, it's still a great pizza, very delicious. I actually went to uh, a place called Pizzeria Dew, um, 
It's in downtown Chicago, the heart of Chicago. It's amazing. Please go there. If you go to Chicago, try the pizza. It's really good. Um, but yeah, that being said, uh, the sleeves, I'm, I'm keeping everything. I'm keeping the mat, the sleeves, um, any, any cards I got from there, any, you know, there, there were people there signing cards, like Pegasus was there. Like, <laughs> it was like basically reliving my childhood when I got to see, uh, Pegasus and, and Kaiba, like, battle it out, um, you know, on stage and stuff. It was like, you know, w blast from the past, from 10 years ago when I first watched the show for the very first time. It was amazing. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Like, what, what did you guys go to nationals? What do you think of nationals? Are you surprised with uh, which deck won nationals? And if you don't know, it was Dragon Rulers who ended up winning. Big shout out to Patrick Hoban who played great. Uh, watched him pretty much all of day two in his feature matches, and uh, he really most of the time outplayed his opponents. Obviously, you get a little lucky, but uh, he he played really well, and uh, I feel like he deserved the win. So big shout out to Patrick and uh, all of ARG. Um, but yeah, Dragon Rulers, like, big surprise that they were going to win. I, I didn't think it was a surprise. I was rooting for them. I was expecting them to win. Spellbooks is a great, great deck, but Dragon Rulers is just something else. And plus, Eradicator is a card, so. <laughs> um, but yeah, what did you guys think? Did you go to Nationals? Did you have fun? If not, do you plan on going? Because I, I highly recommend it. Um, were you surprised that Dragon Rulers won? Let me know what you guys think. Uh, be sure to leave a comment, rate, subscribe. All that good stuff, and if you really, excuse me, really want a deck profile, um, then maybe if you ask nicely, I'll put one up. But I'm pretty sure you you don't want to see. I mean, I don't really want to go into it, but you know, if you really want it, just let me know. <laughs> but anyways, guys, please be sure to comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.